to a huge example of the game, all right? This is what politicians and social media think is worthy of scrutiny about this president. Play this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> Made in America. Okay. <laughs> all right, we all get it, right? It's three words, all right? Social media, this little stupid gotcha, all right, is just all over the place, firing up the fringe about whether Joe Biden is up to the job of President of the United States of America. But with all their fervor to make this case about, is he up to the job, is he not? They are ignoring a better and real measure that could decide the upcoming presidency, okay? And it came right out of this president's mouth, a warning of potential Armageddon. That's the word he used. Biden told the crowd at a New York fundraiser, quote, we have not faced the prospect of Armageddon since Kennedy and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Putin's not joking when he talks about potential use of tactical nuclear weapons. Okay? He has never said anything more loaded. Potential Armageddon? Now, as you may know, it's a biblical reference, right, to the battle before Judgment Day. I believe it takes place in a mythical battleground that's supposed to be around Haifa in Israel. But what matters here is he's probably more right than he may know. And the question that becomes, is he doing enough to avoid his own prediction? President Biden is old enough to remember what led to the Cuban Missile Crisis, the failed Bay of Pigs attempt that the United States supported, the U.S. missiles being placed in the east that led the then Soviets to put missiles 90 miles from the United States in Cuba. Then came the infamous 13 days of tension between two superpowers, literally an existential threat. President Kennedy knew, surrounded by people, getting all different kinds of information, not knowing what to do, making miscalculations. He learned a very, very valuable lesson that he wrote about, that conflicts are won by moves well in advance of any potential crisis. Early action is key. Joe Biden made the reference connecting Cuba then to us now. Is he living the lesson that he should have learned? Because otherwise, he made a really eerie connection because it is eerie how similar the circumstances were then to now. Perceived U.S. objectives that led to Soviet aggression. That Cuba crisis was in October, a week from where we are right now, 60 years ago. The Pentagon is responding by giving vague threats of being able to take out Putin. That allows Russia to now play the victim. Of course, they are not, except of their own choices. And the latest comes today, as the Pentagon says that they see no sign of Russia preparing to use nukes. Well, are we the closest to Armageddon that we've been since Cuba, or is there nothing to worry about? The mixed messaging only leads you to one of two conclusions. One. Biden said what he said because he was at a fundraiser and he wanted people with deep pockets to reach in a little bit farther and gave him a reason to want to keep him in office, which is just politics, but this is not something to play politics with. The second, I believe, is more likely, which is he's not wrong, but we're not doing enough either. Now, as you may remember, I went to Ukraine a few months ago on my own to the front lines, and not because I have a death wish, but because of what I was hearing from there and how I wasn't getting that sense of urgency here. Ukraine is making a valiant effort, but this is bigger than them. And our president just acknowledged it. So there are key questions that have to be raised, okay? When is our president gonna lay out exactly why we are doing and not doing whatever our strategy is in Ukraine? And stop with the, oh, he can't give up strategic objectives. That's not what this is about. It's about whether or not it's a priority, okay? When's he gonna assure you that if something happens, that they're prepared? That they have some kind of nuclear play theory here? Are they prepared if God forbid something happens here? If something happens there, are they prepared to help? How can America be so hands off in a situation that the president presents as the ultimate all hands on deck? And how about our members of Congress, these people who are going crazy about the president saying two words and then mentioning three? Why don't they get off Twitter and get on the floors of Congress and start debating what to do and not do about this threat? 
The situation could not have more grave potential. Should Ukraine be left to defend democracy mostly on its own?